Oh, yeah, I would I would agree with that. I don't think artificial intelligence is really a substitute for a physician, but there could be again areas where um physicians are not as skilled. And so now AI has become so detail oriented that it can be a very good um uh you know help or assistance to make a final diagnosis in addition to of course like the observer um all the characteristics of the nodules that i just went over that's kind of like fed into the software and then the software is going to you know put all the data together and then ultimately you know come up with a risk of malignancy based on all the data that it's seeing so first like the the software itself will detect the nodule then after that it's going to do a segmentation so it's going to create contours for the nodule and and then it uses heat maps saliency maps where uh it can detect based on the heat map if there's microcalcifications or not and so it's almost like a replacement for a provider to be honest with you and do i 100% recommend that you know that we should be using ai and no i don't but but i would say they're pretty accurate nowadays and so it uses basically and then the other option also is that it, it uses other images to match what it's currently seeing on the ultrasound image it's up and coming and and we're already using it even in new york in in major uh, radiology companies